Welcome. And follow me, I have the iPhone 17 and today I'll be showing you how you can put this phone into the DFU mode. So before we get started, let's quickly touch upon a couple of things. If you're using a Mac, which you totally can, you just need to download or not download, but open up your finder and plug in your device. It will show up somewhere on a side panel, click on it and just stay there. Now for PC users, we're gonna need to do some other things like download uh, Apple devices from our favorite place where we get all our programs <laughs> and not the web browser. No, no, we're gonna be using the Microsoft Store. Awesome. Now in here you want to search for Apple devices and uh, you're gonna get this with a even shittier review than uh, the iTunes and iTunes was the previously used program for this purpose. It's been updated, improved, one could say, by getting split into two separate applications, which one even has worse reviews than the, the other. And uh, this basically serves as the interface for computer and other program like music to interact with your phone. Uh, from here, you can back it up, restore it, update it and all that stuff. Well, Apple Music is basically a music player, which uh, for some high crackpot at Microsoft gave it a award of 2024 for music category. I guess they didn't realize that there are other options to use for listening to music and, and managing it because this sure as shit ain't the way to do it correctly. It doesn't even support flack. And you give it a award. Put the crackpot down, Microsoft. Anyway, so once you get this crap, uh, we can begin. So let's open it up. So it's gonna look. We're gonna plug in our device. And we're gonna mentally prepare for the uh, Konami cheat code that you need to enter to basically get the device into the DFU mode. So I'm gonna go over this slowly and then I'm gonna do it myself. So if you have any problems with it, you can literally follow me uh, how how long I'm holding these buttons for when I'm releasing them and that will hope hopefully fingers crossed allow you to enter the DFU mode so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold or hold gonna press volume up then volume down and then we're gonna hold power button for 10 seconds after 10 seconds you're gonna add volume down and you're gonna hold both of these buttons for five seconds after five seconds you're gonna let go of the power button if it seems like a convoluted uh, mess, that's because it completely is. And if you miss this by a second, guess what? You're entering this, which is not a DFU mode. So uh, let's see if I manage to do it by the first try. So we're gonna press volume up, volume down, power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five. And we're just going to continue holding it. It should show up, there we go, on our computer as DFU mode. One improvement that has been made to, uh, to I guess, the computer side, Windows or whatever, when it comes down to managing this, is that now this crap can define what a DFU mode is, unlike before where DFU mode was considered a recovery mode. Congrats, you did one thing correctly. Awesome. So in here, we can check for updates, or well, not really, or restore iPhone, which basically means check for updates. Now, I want to point out, it says restore iPhone. Now, I don't know what kind of uh, logic people usually use in US, but restore would usually imply restoring data. This is a reset factory one, which as far as I'm aware, reset and restore are two different things. But Tim Cook is pretty old, so he might be a bit senile at this point. So let's not, you know, put too much emphasis on uh, weird crap like this, which could get people to completely delete all their data from the device. Simple mistake, right? Anyway, uh, whatever you do with DFU mode, if you reset your device from here or whatever, usually whatever you needed it for will reboot the device and take you back to just a normal ios when it's done doing whatever you needed it to do 
but if you want to leave this mode without doing anything you can just press volume up down and hold the power button till on our computer side this page disappears like now let go of the buttons and you can see that it's now turning on on its own we can also unplug the cable as it was only needed to get us into this mode and other than that serves uh, no purpose And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.